Many people think that the Fountain of Youth was the whole reason Ponce de Leon made his voyage to the New World. Even though Ponce de Leon wasn't linked to the Fountain of Youth search until after he died, its legend is helping archaeologists find out some interesting things about the Timucua Indians and about the Spanish explorers that settled the area for Europeans. It has opened doors to understanding the past. While no one knows where Ponce de Leon landed exactly, archaeologists think that here at the Fountain of Youth Park is pretty close. There have been excavations here of an ancient Timucua village that was called Saloy. It is thought that the Timucua lived there for at least 400 years before Ponce de Leon arrived in April of 1513. When the conquistadors came, they found this location ideal for the guarding of the inlet just north of St. Augustine. They made a small outpost here in 1565. and Sir Francis Drake of England destroyed it 21 years later since they had no cannons. The British rebuilt it when they gained control of Florida and they added two cannons which are still here. There are several monuments to the moment Ponce de Leon landed here. One is a bronze statue of the man himself featuring two flags, the Cross of Burgundy and the Royal Flag of Spain. There are plaques on the statue that explain how he named Florida for the Pascua Florida, or Feast of Flowers celebrated by the Spanish for Easter. Another monument, an obelisk, commemorates Ponce de Leon being the first governor of Florida from 1513 until 1521. In the Fountain of Youth Park, they have recreated some of the village of Saloy. You can see a chicky, a hut with thatched palm tree leaves as a roof. It has a campfire in the center and a hole in the roof to let smoke out. They had cooking fires, covered areas also made of thatching, and netting for catching fish. Dugout canoes were made from cypress logs and allowed them to navigate rivers, lakes, and even the ocean near the coast. The Timucua had a ceremonial drink called black drink made from drying the leaves of the Yaupon holly tree and brewing them in boiling water. Only males were allowed to drink it and it was considered to be purifying. They drank it from shells decorated with art. This drink had lots of caffeine in it. There is an actual fountain at the Fountain of Youth. The legend of the fountain says that anyone that drinks from it will be healed and restored to health and youth. You can drink from the fountain today at the park. It won't do you any harm, but it may do you some good.
Perhaps it is the fountain of youth itself that keeps these lands so timeless. Thank you for watching.